Welcome this week to Long Island, Bahamas, Stella Morris, and we're going to discuss some more catamaran basics, raising the mainsail. Follow along with us as Lisa asks the questions, and we get the venture prepared for a day okay, on the water. Okay, clear the top one. Now you got the second batten coming up, so you got to make sure it clears there. It's been a long, hard season I'm feeling weary to my bones I guess that's my reason I packed my bags and now I'm gone Somewhere between the sun and the deep blue sea Okay, so Randy and I are so excited to be here. We love Long Island, it's our favorite spot. Lisa has some questions on raising the sails, specifically the mainsail. So today our goal is to talk to you about raising the mainsail in simple terms. And I think, I know our friends will be excited about it because we'll all learn together. Yeah, we're gonna keep it pretty basic and it's just about raising the main and kind of all the things that go with it because it's really complicated. A boat has lots of terminology and I think a lot of what we're gonna do is go through the terminology again um, because if you don't know the definitions of things, you can't put it all together. So like Randy said, it's kind of like speaking a different language and so if we get the language, we can put our, our sentences together and understand what's going on. Again, if the wind picks up suddenly or a squall picks up, sometimes things have to be done very quickly. And the easier it is to communicate, the quicker you're able to adapt to changing situations. Okay, so we're getting prepared to raise the mainsail here this morning when we head out. And I've totally, I'm not totally understood it all these years, but it's starting to make a lot of sense. So, what you want to do is you want to open the sail bag. Yes. And you want to move the halyard to the head of the sail. Perfect, because yes. Because it's going to pull up the sail when right. we start pulling on this halyard line. Exactly. Okay. It's going to actually raise the sail for us. And so when we're doing this, we want to make sure that there's nothing restricting um, the boom. And you want to give it a little bit of leeway as you're pulling up the main. Right, so there's no downward pressure as we're trying to raise the sail up, which will bring the boom up a bit. So. You're right. Okay. So what do we do to relieve that pressure on the boom, the downward pressure? So basically there's two things. You have a preventer on this boat. Yes. And the preventer, um, it creates different triangles and I want you to explain that, but it, it creates lateral Some, pressure, doesn't right, it? Right, but also downward pressure. So okay. we need to loosen that, you're correct. And then the main thing is you wanna loosen- The main sheet. Right. And the main sheet comes back here and it attaches to the traveler. Exactly, on our boat. So it's pretty cool how you can control the angle of the boom, or you can- Right, when we're sitting at the it. dock or on anchor, with the preventer doing one angle and then moving the traveler over and then tightening the main sheet, and the preventer, I can lock that boom into a particular position. So it won't roll, won't go up, won't go down, it's set. And then if we get a, a good wind or whatever, it's just not gonna move. We use a boom preventer on LaVenture primarily when we're on a broad reach. So if there's a wind change behind us, we don't have an accidental jibe. But today, we're <laughs> raising the main, yes. and so we're going to loosen those just a little bit to give it a little bit of leeway, maybe 18 to 24 inches of that of that boom. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the reefing lines. Right, because they're also could put some downward pressure on the sails we're raising it. So we want to make sure that they're loose, so as the sail goes up and draws more reefing line, it can do so. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Before leaving anchor, or in this case, from the dock, Lisa and I like to go up on top and unzip the stack pack. It is so much more stable at anchor or at dock and so much easier to unzip and fully unzip. 
so that there are no obstructions to the sail when we raise it later as we head out of the marina. Everything is clear. The mainsail is ready. Lisa unzips the front flap that again protects the sail from UV uh, while we're at anchor or at the dock. We are now ready and prepared. We have a beautiful day ahead of us and we are headed out of the marina and headed for some deeper water so that we can raise the mainsail. So I tie this around the top car on the mainsail that way if some wind blew up in the marina the sail wouldn't uh, start unfurling and going up or something. <laughs> it's just kind of like a safety line to make sure nothing Let it just run through. There we go. So it's loose. Cleat it? Just uncleat it. That's all you gotta do is uncleat it. Okay? So I'm now gonna put the wheel and the boat into standby manual so I can steer. And then the wind's still coming out of the southwest. So I'm gonna turn the boat now into the wind because we have deeper water now. So, always want to turn them to the wind, right? Right. Don't and I want to make sure on the course that I have good depth going forward too, since we're in the Bahamas and we're on the banks. And okay. it looks like we still have five feet headed into the wind, so we're depth uh, below the keel, so that's really good. And then I'll tell you when I have us directly into the wind. Okay, so you loosen the preventer. Yes. So there's, so there's no tension on the boom. And you also, I saw it loosen the, the main lane. sheet, so there's no tension there. It can pull all the line it needs. So, okay, you can begin pulling the main up. And that's the black line, remember. And then I put it one, at least one round. Yeah, there you go. And then remember, you're threading it through the lazy jack. Okay, so it's important to the boat into the wind. Yes. So it goes inside the lazy jack. Exactly. Okay, you've cleared the top one. Now you got the second batten coming up, so you gotta make sure it clears there. You're doing a good job of headed into the wind. <laughs> yeah, but look, see now we're we're getting caught, so I'm gonna have to come figure out how to bring it. I'm gonna go to the port a little bit here and that should bring that off. Nope, you gotta, you're gonna have to maybe lower it a little bit. There you go. There. Now you can go up. Can I use then, the handle? So now what I would do is wrap it around those three times. And yep, there you go. And now put your toe on the electric winch. The slow one? Yeah, just you can let go of this. Now see where the topping lift is? So now we're going to go off the wind just a little bit because I want to move. Now let the reefing line uh, clutches loose. You want to uncleat the reefing lines so there's no tension on it. Okay, now you can, there you go. Now you can continue. Good job. Look it up. <laughs> okay, so the next job, Lisa, is we got all this, uh, and so then we, let's see, that looks pretty tight. So, so then go ahead and cleat it, cleat the black line there. Perfect. Got a, yep. What about the main? Well, yeah, go ahead. Well, the main, we're going to wrap around this in a second. Okay. So I let go of this. Now. So let go of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make we're going to make that big. Here, let me do that. Okay, got you gotta, need to teach me. Well, you got to get the kinks out first. You got to twist it so just so you. Okay, so 
And then, yeah, good. leave it about that far. Yeah, that's good. And then just do it slowly and just make sure there's no keys. Good job. And then that way, if we have to lower the main in an instant we can, the line will just perfectly run through and the main will come down fast. It's so important to coil lines on a boat to keep it really neat. Um, one, it just, the boat looks better and it's out of the way of people tripping and that type of thing. But most importantly, if there's ever an emergency, a big wind comes up, something changes quickly, we can adjust to that without something getting kinked or stuck. And then we're stuck with okay, the now sail Do you want me to coil this or what are we doing here? Just, just keep doing it until you run out of line. Okay. Now what? Okay, then. No. Now, can you show me the yeah. proper way? Yeah, so, so this is the back side. So this, you'll put this side, the other side down. Because oh. you want this. Yeah, perfect. And then what you're going to do is slide that underneath the bag. Just lift the bag up and slide it underneath there out of your way. Perfect. So it's out of your way, but it's neat and ready to go in case we need it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Are we done? Yep. All right. Good job, Lisa. We are now headed out for a day of sailing. In review, when we're at the dock or at anchor, we unzip the stack pack and make sure that the sail has no obstructions and that the main halyard is connected to the headboard on the mainsail. We head out, head the boat into the wind, make sure that we have good depth, no obstructions. And then we make sure that the reefing lines and the main sheet and the boom preventer are all loose or disconnected. So we can then begin raising the mainsail slowly, especially making sure that the battens clear the lazy jacks. And once we've cleared the lazy jacks with the battens, we can then wrap the black halyard line around the electric winch and finish raising the sail, cleat and real importantly, coil the main halyard so that it can be released quickly in case we have to lower the sail with a squall coming up. We loosen the topping lift then because we no longer need it to hold the boom up. And then we bear off to our course, turn off engine, and we are now sailing on a great adventure. Thanks for watching this week, our episode, Catamaran Basics, Raising the Mainsail. Lisa's had so many questions, and I hope this definitely helps all of you feel more comfortable getting the sails up. Thanks to the crew, Barbara, Amanda, and Lisa. We especially thank Amanda for doing all the photography on the water. 
so Lisa could raise the mainsail, make all the adjustments, and share that with you on film. Please subscribe and like more adventures coming, more catamaran basics as well, and out island living. So follow us. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great week, everyone. Look into thought.